Hey guys, so it is day 50 in Mumbai and what started out a decent evening ended up a pretty shitty night. Um, turned around after work and was running late so I called the driver, canceled the vehicle and then we got out early, earlier than we expected so I called the driver back, I uh, had the driver show up and we got about three blocks and I was taking a co-worker home and we decided to stop and get a beer. So myself and Deepak got out of the car, went and had some dinner, um, turned around, I paid the driver, uh, and it's first of the month, essentially, and uh, we decided after we have dinner, we're just going to walk home because we're not that far, and Deepak's apparently a big health nut, and uh, it's good for me to take a walk, so we took a walk, had some good conversation, and I get back to the apartment and realize I have no key. Uh, my best guess is that the key is in the uh, paperwork that I had to use to pay the driver. So I'm hoping that sometime this evening when he goes through and counts the money and goes over the paperwork, he finds my key. So in the meantime, I asked the security desk here to uh, help get me in the apartment. What I thought they were doing was calling the owner. Instead, they called a locksmith. And this kid was about 13 or 14 years old. He hustled me for about 800 total rubies, which, you know, all said and done is probably barely over $12. It is what it is. Um, took this kid about seven minutes to pop the lock. Kind of damn scary, to be honest with you. Uh, doesn't speak a lick of English. Grabbed out his toolkit. Boop, 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 boop. Pops the lock. Um, continued to try to get me to pay him more money and I was like look dude you already got me in the apartment and I've already paid you 800 rubies we started off at three we're at eight I'm not paying you again so uh, by the time that happened somebody had actually called the owner the owner showed up so I've, they've agreed to come and lock the door tomorrow morning and hopefully by then I'll see the driver and get the key so if not I'll be buying a duplicate key tomorrow yay that was fun um, what happened in Mumbai? I actually had a pretty good story up to that point. Um, yeah, no story. So apparently if you're 13 here, the skill set is that you can pick people's house doors and break into their homes. Um, I met a neighbor tonight. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if you know me, you guys know I don't like people. I really don't. So, um... I had some good conversations with Deepak though. I mean, we really did uh, just kind of talk about everything and anything between uh, family life, hobbies, uh, different cultural issues between the US and India, and trying to find a pool hall so we can shoot some pool this year uh, before I go home. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, uh, next week I end up in Bangalore. So hopefully some new videos, some new photos and hopefully some cool stories. Uh, the week after that is Delhi, and Deepak, uh, he isn't a big fan of the Taj Mahal, but he likes to travel, so he said uh, if he goes with us on that trip, he'll take me out to the Taj, so that's gonna be badass. Uh, outside of that, that's it. Uh, yeah, it's just been a crappy night, so I'm gonna get off here early tonight. I'm gonna try to take a shower, uh, get some rest, but other than that, you guys know the drill. Uh, subscribe to the channel, share the video, like the Facebook page, comments, questions. We'll take it from there. Hopefully tomorrow's better and we'll have a new key. So peace out. I'll see you guys back in the U.S.